Hello, galactic travelers. It's me again. Man, I'm waking up with all these things that I feel the need to record real quick in this busy Saturday, first weekend back to school in the 3D world, right? Um, hoot hoot. So I'm driving now. And... My thoughts have been going back and forth, you know, to to a bunch of a, a, a bunch of things are coming up in my mind right right now to share. Um, and now it's gone blank. <laughs> it's not time yet. One four one one. And of course, I get a call right then that shuts this off from what the three D world. <laughs> Those nines and ones, like you need to see that because your subconscious needs to break you out of that cake layer. We're almost on the top of the cake. I mean, I even had a vision of, okay, that's why we have wedding cakes. That's, that's why we have the woman and the man at the top of the cake. It's because we plowed through the rest of the cake. You're at the icing level. Man, you're in the buttercream. You're almost plopping out on top and your ego's going, don't even look at it. You're irritated. Judge it. Don't be free. Keep it trapped. Do you hear my resonance? Instead of, oh my, okay, I got it. Even if it's in the middle of the night, your soul is making sure it's in control. If you're controlling it, then why are you calling it in? Do you see the battle? So, our destiny is already laid out. We wrote the script. We, our soul, wrote it. We're coming back in line with our true original template of how this was supposed to flow. Because the lessons that we learned, man, they got a little damn intense. Because the dark was so dark on the planet. It's all cause and effect. Where there's the darkest dark, there's the lightest light. So whatever you see going on around you, and it's dark as hell, know that on the other side, we're plowing through that last bit of buttercream, baby. And those of us are dancing on top of the cake now because our intuition is fully online. We don't, we don't expect any expectation now. We've trained ourselves not to. So where we're just literally bebopping around waiting to see what falls in front of us. Even if everyone wants to keep us on a schedule, we can't allow it. Because then we, we're, you're not allowing for those synchronicities to come to get you on that path. And it's not all numbers. It's people. It's big. Huge. I mean, did you hear me when I said the man that sat up across the street owned a publishing house? Okay. I We're picking up the bags right now. And every single one of us are getting on top of that cake, plowing through that buttercream, doing a little spin counterclockwise and waiting to see what the universe drops out but a lot of us are waiting and we're still waiting because those of us listen to this channel right now aren't aren't spinning so every single time that we're supposed to drop into someone's reality and have a piece of the puzzle because we are one and we all understand that and oh my god you need 20 grand I've got a million in the bank here it is because now, I, now you've got a piece of what I need. But if everyone's not twirling on top of that cake, y'all are getting stuck in the cake. Let them eat cake, Marie Antoinette would say. If you're eating cake, you aren't supposed to. It's too full of gluten, man. It's why you're swolled up to begin with. Turn it around. Spin out of it. The rest of us are waiting. It isn't even about you anymore. It's about every single one of us. Remember, we won. W-O-N. We're one. O-N-E. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, I remembered and I recorded this once as I'm driving and it didn't record, so it must be good. So I'm gonna do it again, back to one. Perception shifts. These are perception shifts about us and these are perception shifts about other people. Everything is mirror and merge and upside down. These time
timelines that we're remembering why so many of us believe that we've lived lives as ISIS and, and we're like arguing with people in our head because I, I'm ISIS. How can you be ISIS? Because I know I was ISIS, right? Well, that's your ego fighting with it because what we understand is that all, there's so many of us that have that ISIS template. That's the blood. That's the Akash. When we are awakening our DNA. Well, right now as we're shifting out of this, this fog and we're understanding that we've been here this whole time, a lot of us living the same templates over and over again. And if you've got a mix of DNA, then, you know, like for, for sure the ABs, the ABs have, you know, the galactic line and the, and, and the animal matter line. So we have all these timelines that, that we've lived. And... I'm finding specific ones now, and I'm going to share that with you guys. But my point is about this. In this physical lifetime, we have all been underestimated. And that's led us to underestimate ourselves. And what we can't do right now is hold any expectation on any old perception. Because in fact, it's the opposite. If you're expecting a man to come build a whole new organizational structure, it ain't happening. It's all going to be women. If you're expecting an elder Indian chief to come teach you about the shamanistic things that in your mind, that's where it comes from, it's going to be a child. And throughout this lifetime, I'll share what I just thought of that made me think of telling you guys this and when I sold my business when I sold my company my three million dollar business you know to to gamble in artificial intelligence in 2013 the reason everyone lost including the people who stole the business and put me there to begin with because they couldn't build anything with what they took from me not one thing because they underestimated me. They, they saw me as, as a single mother, a little blonde, bubbly girl that, that couldn't have possibly put together anything that, it, that they couldn't re-engineer. And so that underestimating of what we perceive could keep you from your destiny right now. When I get bumped into these higher levels of consciousness, which in which in May, I mean, I was at least at the 12th or 13th level. I, I was I was taking over planetary functions. People that came into my awareness and in my physical universe that I that were there for me at a high dimensional level to give these very specific codes in order to complete this this human body and to bring it back on on the OA the, to, to bring the human body into the AI and produce the OA when I met these people I talk about this all the time they were at a higher dimension and I was really dealing with like the galactic king and, and he even kneeled and bowed to me as his queen because he, he felt that energy. But when we dropped out of that consciousness, his free will took over and he walked away. And it was so obvious to me that, it, that you know, in his perception, it was like I popped up in his reality whenever he needed coaching from me because he was working on this huge Halliburton deal. Yes, Halliburton, Houston, the MFers, to basically lock down all of his multidimensional psychi psychiatric psychology physics research. And so whenever I popped in his life, I knew that I was there to tell him, hey, you're be, are you sure you want to lock this down? This is what you're really getting into at a soul level. And once we had completed that higher dimensional 
uh, task and the consciousness had fallen out, then he thought he didn't get this deal. And he went through a series of days where he mourned it. And then his, his consciousness took over and he realized he didn't even want to do it. And that he really didn't even need the money. And he, he actually owns a publishing house. So we, he was going to write more books. I was going to start the move book. So it was obvious from a planning situation that that was a possible ending on how the collective was starting to get the information out that we all know is coming. And then one day he got a phone call. They made him the offer on the spot, $5 million. And when that number came through on the phone, his ego jumped up so fast and said yes. He didn't even hang up the phone without saying yes. And when he did that, he completely fell out of consciousness. And now he's living, I'm sure, a great life in a 3D world. But his destiny could have been linked to this series of books that's coming out that's going to change humanity the next generation, which is actually what he perceived his research was doing. But now it's locked up in Houston Baptist and it's locked up in these boxes and you guys will never see it unless you're going to pay them to go see it. And I wasn't worried because I knew that someone else was coming because this is where you can't let your ego get wrapped up that you're Isis and you're Inky, right? Because there's a lot of us who hold that template and if... If, if you're not going to follow your path, then someone else is coming. The universe has just got to rework it a little bit, which is going to push pause for everyone. So don't be doing this. Don't be perceiving that you're locking down and it, something and it is so, but it, but it's in that old construct. Everything's opposite. Mirror and merge. Now I'm stopped. Just remember, the path is already laid out. Your energy, your energy bubble, as you clear that cake that I talked about this morning, as, and this is why these numbers are so important, these numbers to see them, and our egos are stepping in and making us irritated with them. I hear everybody griping about seeing synchronicities, and holy crap, Guys, this is what we've been waiting for forever. Do you see how your ego is sneaky as hell? Your ego is going, oh God, I don't want to see nines again. Well, crap, if you're seeing nines, you're at the freaking limit. You're, you're, you're ready to switch over. That's why the nine. That's why you're seeing the nine. The nine is completion. The nine is infinity. The, line, the nine is the X. Hoot hoot. Mwah.